main event, two 29-year-old Americans here, Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Gila River Arena in Glendale, It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner of the martial artist, holding a professional record. 18 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Nevada, Colorado, by Lightweight contender in the world, Justin, the highlight, Gaethje! Out of the red corner, a Jitsu fighter, holding a professional record, 22 wins, 5 losses, 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, for Ed Lafayette, Louisiana. Presenting the number five ranked lightweight contender in the world. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to keep it clean. Touch gloves, and let's do it. There is a championship buzz in Ooh. this arena. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. These are the ones, J.A. I'm telling These you. These are the ones. Justin Gaethje. Closing as a slight underdog tonight at home against Dustin Poirier. MMA is such a big part of our lives that Selena doesn't generally watch, but she's at home right now glued to the TV, John. She texted me, said, I've got to watch this one. Got to do it. Dustin Poirier in the black trunks. Justin Gaethje is in blue. And one of our producers picked up on some buzzwords in the Poirier locker room as he was getting ready to come out as he lands a left and a right. Smother and pressure the buzzwords coming out of the Poirier corner before they came out. Poirier, go ahead. Already like three or four inside leg kicks though, man. He's got to check him. He's got to at least punch, catch one, and take him down something every time he gets kicked in the legs. He's got to answer to those leg kicks. Gaethje said it would be hard for Poirier to be patient with me in his face all night. Poirier just misses on the uppercut there. Gaethje has to be one of the best leg kickers MMA has ever seen. I'm not saying that MMA is right now. He's got to be one of the best leg kickers MMA has ever seen. Nice straight right lands for Justin Gaethje. Gaethje's already cut. Doesn't care, though. Still pressuring forward, trying to get past that jab of Poirier. Watch the counter right hook of Poirier. That's going to be one of his best weapons. He steps out and hits that counter right hook. Not a great location for that cut. Appears to be bothering Gaethje a little bit. The inside kick's killing Poirier's leg, though. Early and right. If he does not start checking that, he's going to have no power in his left hand or his jab. Gaethje likes to fight on the inside. Poirier's better at range, but at range is where Gaethje can land those kicks. He's crowding Poirier's power. He's keeping him so stuck that he can't get Gaethje at the end of his punches, and so he's crowding his power. Oh, nice combination by Poirier. Nice long combination. It was blocked, but a nice long combination. Good jab by Gaethje. Both guys landing at a 62% clip here through two minutes. Eyes starting to shut down for Gaethje. That left eye is going to get shut. He's not careful. He's got to protect it. Just, Dustin's already starting to move a little gingerly on that front leg. Yep, it hurts. He can't take many more of those kicks. It's starting to pick apart. Now his head's getting open because he's worried about the leg kicks. That's what Gaethje does. He chops your legs. You're so worried about defending your legs, you leave your head open to get knocked out. Big deep breath from Poirier. I mean, the pace that Justin Gates makes the fight at is crazy. He wants Poirier. you to keep punching him so that you get tired. That's what he wants. He's, he's hoping Poirier keeps punching himself out like this at his guard. 
or he is doing a good job of returning when he's getting kicked, but he's got to defend or check these leg kicks. And at least in the early going, Poirier willing to fight at Justin Gaethje's preferred pace. And he just looked at the clock two minutes in. Well, certainly Dustin has earned Gaethje's respect. You saw how quickly he covered up. Poirier doing a good job staying heavy on the offense, though. He's landing right back. He's not stepping yes. back and just eating shots. He's landing back with Gaethje. This is what we expected. These guys fighting in a phone booth. Yep. Poirier's gonna have to get some respect and get Justin moving back a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that was heavy. Or go to the body. That's why Alvarez had so much success. Go to the body. Gaethje has absorbed a lot of significant strikes here early. 38 to the head already for Poirier. Under 90 seconds, round one. A little slip there by Gaethje. Poirier starting to settle in a little bit. Rips the body effectively yet again there. One of the bigger issues with being able to hit somebody is that you fall in love with it. You realize that they're there to be hit, so you start throwing everything with absolute power. You got to stay within yourself if you're Dustin Poirier when you're landing the strikes on Justin Gaethje because he's going to be here. He's going to be here for a while. He's not going out one punch most times. And he tries to pressure you, so if you do punch, it's not as powerful as you want because he crowds you, so you can't extend your arms out. Oh, that was a heavy hook, bro, that Poirier just landed. Nice left hook around the ear of Gaethje in the pocket. The leg kicks are adding up for Gaethje, though. That's going to really pay dividends in the second round. Gaethje Gaethje can survive. I mean, we got 30 seconds left, and Gaethje's eating some shots. Poirier is big and powerful at 155 pounds. And, of course, Gaethje doesn't cut a lot of weight to make this 156-pound limit. No, he said that the only year he All-American in wrestling was the year that he just didn't cut any weight. Right. So he's taking that approach in his mixed martial arts career, too. Yep. He that said was... that uh, the guys that are cutting weight fade as he puts the pressure on them. That's what he's counting on. He's saying, I'm going to chop his leg down and tire him out because he's cutting weight. I'm not. I'll have energy in the third, fourth, fifth rounds, and he'll be done and chopped down. Big hook landed there for Gaethje in that exchange. Checking on the jaw of Justin Gaethje. Yes, Justin, it's fine. And Trevor Whitman just seems to be the perfect yin to Justin Gaethje's yang. Very interesting to watch them go back and forth. Whitman thought Gaethje won that first round, but he said, don't worry about banking rounds. Just go beat this kid up. Round two underway now. The best coaches in the game don't just give good advice. They, they get their fighter hyped up and ready to win when they're in the most pain and they, they're doubting themselves the most. They know how to trigger their brain and get them to kill. And Gaethje said, oh, what, what happened? Who won that round? And he says, who cares about rounds? You're going to break him anyway. He says, you're right. And here we are right now, and he's coming heavy with the pressure. But don't forget, Dustin Poirier's leg is hurting bad. Well, we saw a few fights ago Jim Miller beat up the lower half of Poirier's leg. Dustin was able to win that fight by majority decision. But Gaethje certainly attacking the upper portion, the inside of that lead leg on the southpaw, Justin Poirier. I thought both guys found success in that round. Gaethje did a lot of good work with those leg kicks, but also Poirier did good work with his boxing. And Jab with Gaethje's landing a lot as well. He's using it. He's using that jab very effective. Starting to faint now. Nice level change by Poirier. And that's got us that leg. Up. That leg's hurt. Oh, yeah. Big shot lands for both guys. Stop. Stop. Gaethje a break, but... Gay, you give Gaethje a break, that's the last thing you want to do. you got to hope that the damage accumulates on him. But if you give him a rest, he gets rest from, his, from the beating he's taking, too. It looked like maybe Gaethje just got warned again, a little softer that time by her Dean. Gaethje can throw the ball. Oh, nice combination by Poirier. And he did, he ate it and then threw a hook and landed his own hook in, Port, in, in Gaethje. I think that's his best strike. I think that's Gaethje's best punch is the left hook. Okay. This legendary chin of Justin Gaethje has been tested tonight. It is held up through the fight's first seven minutes. Gaethje with a glancing left able to land. Oh, wow. Both fighters landing in the pocket. I mean, it's crazy watching Justin Gaethje fight because this is the way the fight goes every single time. They wonder why he's been in the UFC for three fights and has had two main events already. Because if you want good fights, you stick Gaethje in yeah. there. First you, UFC fight was the main event. Yeah, you put him in there with guys like Dustin Poirier, Eddie Alvarez, and Michael Johnson. It's only the second round, and Poirier is starting to look a little bit weathered. He's on his back heel. He's doing good with his jab. 
He's ripping the body well, but that leg hurts, and you can see Gaethje just kind of getting him to step back, and he kind of looks at him like, stop kicking him, stop. He's going to need him to switch. Dustin Poirier's got to switch stances. He's got to switch stances. With that leg. Nice combination. Nice combination by Poirier. Very nice. He's landed four or five punches in a row, and Gaethje just eats him. You gotta go to the body. If you're fighting Justin Gaethje, you gotta go to the body. I think that's why Eddie Alvarez did so well. Agreed. He invested in the body early. Gaethje could take damage to the head because it hurts, but if you take away the air out of his lungs, that's the one way you gotta fight Gaethje. And for the first time in the fight, Poirier thought there briefly about a strategy change. Unable to take Gaethje down on that attempt. Poirier seems to be moving okay, but some significant swelling in and around that right knee. Nice combination. He's just touch, touch, touch him and power at the end. There he is. There goes the switch. Quite conventional a little bit. And Poirier is inside of his thigh. His knee is just super swollen. His right leg, is the inside of his leg is just swollen. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. And Poirier is landing more at a higher percentage for sure. 65% for Dustin Poirier as we approach the one minute mark here in round two of a possible five. I mean, through two rounds, Dustin Poirier is over 120 punches landed. 120 strikes landed. It's a crazy pace. It's unbelievable that these guys have to fight 25 minutes. He has to go to the body more on Gaethje's only head hunting, and that's a problem. Right hand lands flush over the top for Poirier. Gaethje's body shots are those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down. Nice single leg by Poirier. Can you finish this? That would be enough. Oh, good nice elbow right there. Good elbow by Gaethje. Oh, nice. Now Gaethje with some uppercuts here in the clinch. Kicks <laughs> up top for Gaethje. Oh. <laughs> in this third round, let's see what, what this is made of. What a show all of these fighters have put on here in Glendale, Arizona tonight. Round three of a possible five here. This is a big round for Dustin Poirier in terms of him having to dig deep to stay in this fight. Justin Gaethje has some momentum. Looking at the posture of Poirier going back to his, his seat, it wasn't encouraging if your team Dustin. What's interesting is Poirier took all the damage to the leg, Gaethje took all the damage to the head. And it looks like the leg damage hurt more than the head damage somehow. Well, it usually does, right? It I usually agree. does, especially with a guy like Justin Gaethje, who's so good at kicking your legs. And the cut on the eye of Poirier happened very quick at the end of that round. He was fine, and all of a sudden he's got this, this nasty cut on the right, left eye. And he still hasn't taken one shot yet. And Poirier said he didn't necessarily fear the one-punch knockout power of Justin Gaethje. But he breaks a lot of guys who say, I've had enough. This guy's a maniac. Yes. And Gaethje at his maniacal best here tonight under four minutes. Now round three. Nice to time takedown, but it's so frustrating when you take somebody down. And Poirier wanted just one second to breathe on top of him, and he gets right back up. Nice body shot by Poirier. Dustin keeps falling at that eye. Gaethje keeps just touching it. Oh, that kick. He waits for the big hand of, yep. of Poirier, and he fires that inside kick every time. And then he just turns the knee out to check, yep. right? Every yep. time Dustin tries to return with a kick, he just turns it out to check. Poirier is not seeing that inside leg kick. They're both tired. Oh. Those reactions are getting bigger and bigger. Yep. Well, a lot of people didn't think we would get to the three-minute mark of round three. Both guys have had their moments. He slipped the jab and came over with the two, and you saw Poirier go, whoa, 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 what was that? He's hurt. Oh, there you go, Poirier's hurt. Yep, he's stuck on the fence, and now he's hoping. He wants to wrestle. He's got to take time. He's got to back up and find some space. You can't try to go head first in here. You got to grab. Justin Gaethje is too smart. He's going to pick his shot. He won't waste energy and go crazy. He's going to start hanging on the head, elbow and uppercut from here, make it dirty. Keep going to the legs, with the knees. 
This is good for Dustin Poirier, though. Being in the clinch, being able to hold and try to catch his breath, knock the cobwebs off. Glendale crowd getting behind one of their own, Justin Gaethje, who has started to take control of this third round. Poirier recognizes that the pace is going to be high. He recognized that at times, Justin Gaethje will break you. That's his intent, is to break you. But at this point, right now, there isn't much you can do about it. See, Gaethje just heads him off every time. You see Poirier circle out, and then Gaethje walks in front of him again and again. He doesn't follow him at all. He always heads you off and keeps you in the box. And you saw Poirier move that right leg back. Just the thought of eating another one, and there goes Gaethje again. Perhaps though Poirier getting a second win here. He's in great shape. He came in okay. shape for this fight. He hasn't stopped either. He's fighting yeah. his heart out right now. Gaethje just landing a little heavier shots to his legs, and that's why you're seeing such an effect on Poirier. It's the leg shots. The crazy thing is, we talk about the Eddie Alvarez fight, but that was only three rounds. I mean, right. these guys have to do this for two more rounds huh. if we get to the corners. Big deep breath from Gaethje. You're talking about two of the toughest fighters on this roster, top to bottom. Putting on an absolute show tonight. Poirier now. And Dustin Poirier is landing strikes and shots of his own. It's just that right now he's wearing the fight on his face and in his reactions a little bit more than Dustin Gaethje. And Trevor Whitman to our immediate right. He's been smiling the whole time. Under a minute to go round three. The leg kicks for Gaethje. 73% on 51 attempts. Trevor's smiling because this is what he sees every day, right? He knows ultimately what the ending of this type of fight usually is for Justin Gaethje. And if you're Dustin Poirier, right now is not the time to be throwing everything with 100% power. Ooh, he's another eye poke there. He's, he may take a point here. That's a big break for Dustin Poirier. No, I saw, I watched it. Okay, we'll take one final look at it here. Yeah, it looked like maybe the other eye, but here we go, final seconds of round three. And that point deduction could end up huge if we do go the distance tonight. Justin Gaethje has really good footwork. He does not chase his opponents ever. Looks like a Poirier eye poke at the end of the round now. But now Corey has got one eye poke too. So if he pokes Gaethje back in the eye for the second time, it could be even on the scorecards with that point deducted for Poirier too. Well, for Justin Gaethje, despite the fact that he has a lot of experience in five round fights, this is the first time. Oh, you see the fourth big left hand lands by Poirier. He's looking for the finish here. Gaethje hurt. Gaethje hurt bad. He's but he's hurt. been here before. Gaethje nearly out on his feet. Poirier continues to land, but he doesn't have. He does not big punch. Oh, a big punch. Big for the ages oh, in Glendale. Wow. Goes to the Louisianan, Dustin Poirier. Hey, hey. Dustin Poirier had thrown this counter left hand time and time again on the inside leg kick. This one landed clean. And right here, Justin Gaethje, an all-American wrestler, never tried to clinch, never tried to shoot a double leg, he did not have the understanding that I am hurt. I need to grab this guy. He stayed with what he has always done and tried to brawl. And Poirier is too smart, too sharp, too accurate, and found the kill shot.